I tip my hat to to Earl Spence. I don't because because he fought through the fight could have ended round three, round four. No, it couldn't. It ended when it ended. It couldn't have done nothing but what it did. And let me tell you why I don't tip my hat to him. Because he never gave Crawford credit, nigga. He kept disrespecting him as a man. Even when they said, okay, Crawford, on a rate, what do you compare Earl Spence? Man, that nigga Crawford gave him like an eight or a nine. Earl gave him a three. Damn, I didn't see that. Was this the press conference? Come on, I my nigga, go watch it. Earl never, Earl, they talk, they talk to Crawford in his camp. Like they was nothing. Like they was going to do to Crawford what Crawford done to Earl. I'm not tilting my hat to that, my nigga. That nigga took a beating. Plummet. Took a beating. He been breaking niggas' eye sockets, homie. Yeah. He been punishing niggas. Nigga, man, please. My nigga told me, homie, I was in a restaurant full of nothing but Earl Spence fans. I was tired. I was drained and I was sleepy because I felt like it was a possibility Earl could win. Nigga, when I saw what I saw, I came to life. And y'all, nigga, I put on, because nigga, at that point, I was looking for a fight at the bar. Yeah, yeah, now I want to fight now. What was the environment like? You got all these Earl Spence fans, you're in Dallas, uh, you're at the bar. When I walked in, homie, the whole motherfucking bar stopped and looked at me. And I stood at the door for, for two minutes. Or maybe a minute. It, I don't know how long. Uh, that, that's the first time uh, I've ever felt uncomfortable uh, being in this position. Nigga, they never stopped looking until I moved. I said, damn. Uh, and I had to walk to the back of the restaurant. Uh... I saw I saw everybody's uh I saw everybody giving me attention. Uh and that's probably the worst thing you can do for me. Uh with that many people watching me, uh pulling that many phones out. Uh in my mind that's a stage. So it's time to take stage and nigga, I'm gonna perform when I get on stage. And yeah, that's what I did, nigga. I started performing. Uh I knew what I was saying was antagonistic. Uh, I knew what I was doing was making people angry, uh, was making people upset, uh, because because I was watching their facial expressions and responses. Uh, so it was like me doing a touch, touchdown dance and the flag and the ref throwing the flag and blowing a whistle for unsportsmanlike conduct, and I don't give a damn. I just keep doing it. Uh, and I was looking for a fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't mind fighting that night. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. I know. Chris would have knocked something out. You had the right yeah. people with you that uh, night. Well, uh, 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 I just want to see if I could fight. I want to see if this boxing shit I've been learning in the motherfucking gym work work at the bar. That's how. No, I got it, coach. I just want to see if this shit work at the bar. It work in the gym. Yeah, I just want to see if it work at the bar. But see, I was at the crib. I had the homies over. It went nuts. We never seen Earl Smith like that. Like. Since a kid, like I hear Rainwater, a lot of different people talk about how Earl, as a kid, used to fight in the streets and, and, and never took a loss. So even for the people in Dallas, that was like a, a real shock to them because of his his resume, his his uh reputation. Um, what was the what was the environment like at the bar while oh, you're watching this? Oh, it was whole like situation? Kobe died all over again. It's like when Kobe died. That bar was like when Kobe Bryant. Oh, they were somber and sad. And I will hoo ride like a motherfucker. Let me just tell people something. See, the difference between how many, it ain't too many suburban kids that can whoop a real hood kid. Mm. I don't give a fuck how good he can fight, how long his daddy been training him. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, you got a middle class suburban kid, Earl Spence, grew up with mom and daddy, he junior, he wore suspenders to the press conference. He got a handsome, uh, well-to-do, a uh, former Olympic trainer, boxing coach, Derrick James. OCBC. But nigga, Earl Spence ain't no real OCBC nigga. He was just trained there. When you look at the spirit of these two different men, one of them got shot in the head, my nigga. 
And survived. Drove himself to the hospital. Drove himself to the hospital, nigga. How many of us got that kind of war with all down off in us, nigga? So think about how deep you got to deep, deep you got to dig, nigga, to pull yourself together. And I drive myself to the hospital. And if they got this bullet in your head, you telling these people, man, I just want to fight tonight. Can I fight tonight? He's still trying to fight. Earl ain't got that kind of spirit in him, nigga. Hell no, Earl ain't got that in him, my nigga. He ain't got that kind of strength and war with all to stand up next to a nigga that can take bullets in the head and still want to fight with the bullet in his head. Y'all better I, I quit mean, playing. He's, he, I, I can't say that. He survived a car accident. Homie, listen. Surviving a car accident, he, listen, it, he didn't drive himself to the hospital. Yeah, but, but we can't say he, he didn't overcome any adversity, though. We I, can't say that. This is what I'm saying, brother. I'm not, I'm not saying he didn't overcome that. The strength that you got to have to drive yourself to the hospital being shot in the head after the car done shot 17 bullets in there. The level of thinking that you got to gather and still want to fight the same day. Those are two different monsters. Hmm. Those are two different monsters. Earl got thrown out of a car. He didn't push himself up, nigga, and stand up and make a call, hey. No. And then on top of that, homie, he ain't got a real jaw no more. This ain't the same Earl Spence that y'all know before that accident, homie, who have the same mental strength. He hadn't been hit that hard to know if he can withstand that kind of power with that new jaw that's barely been in there, what, three years? That accident ain't even been three years old, homie. And y'all think he can stand power that a man that can hit like this? With an extra two-inch jab, he got beat with a stiff, hard jab because this is soft, nigga. This is soft. So y'all can play like y'all want to. I'm a realist, my nigga. Square business, I'm a realist. Would you pay to see a rematch? rematch? The way he got beat, he don't deserve a rematch. He ain't even he, the, he don't even deserve a rematch, homie. Because it's in the contract. It wasn't even close. I would make him it, wait. I would make him wait so long, homie. It ain't even close. He don't deserve no rematch, homie. It, it's in the contract. Well, I would abide by the contract because that's the right thing to do. But I would be advocating. I wouldn't put no belts. I would, man, I wouldn't even yeah. I would, yeah, so you nah, don't, he can't. It'll be, the, it, he'll whoop him again. If they were to fight 10 times, you think he'll win all 10? Yeah, I think he'll win all 10. Because Earl Spence, mm. no homie, that jaw can't take that homie. We think he can take that homie. That man was thrown out of a car at a hundred and something miles per hour homie. No seat belt, no nothing. Y'all think that Dr. Lyon, neurological? Come on, homie. Y'all think that Dr. Lyon? He won two fights after the car accident. But he wasn't hit. He, homie, they put bombs before him. Y'all know that. Y'all know them were bombs they, he put, they put before him just to get him back in. And now, since he got to stand up against something that's really good, now we see. Now, nigga, he damn sure don't want Canelo. I think Floyd hurt boxing because we were so spoiled with Floyd winning, going undefeated. Uh, you know, nowadays you take an L, they tell you to retire. Uh, your career is over with. I don't. I think once you take an L, you can be able to bounce back. Losing well, is a part of the sport. Let, 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 let me just say this. I can't think of nobody who have had a a, a record that went thirty and zero. 20 and 0, who took an L and came back and became great again. When Roy, when Roy took his L, he never bounced back. We name it. When they take that L, homie, when they been great and they finally take that L, they don't never bounce back. But when they start out in the beginning, take an L here, an L there, they be great. 